everybody wants election predictions right now. I'm telling you it comes down to the state of Pennsylvania. I believe that Trump is going to win Florida. We're going to have the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, on the radio program tomorrow morning, by the way. I think Florida wins. Uh, Trump wins Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Iowa, Texas, and probably Arizona too. If Trump holds all those states, which I think he is going to do, then ultimately the race is going to come down for Joe Biden. He's going to have to flip all the Big Ten states. Okay? I think he's going to have to flip Michigan back. He's going to have to flip back Wisconsin. And he's going to have to flip back Pennsylvania. Trump will just need to win one of those three in order to be elected president based on the math that I have. And I think it's ultimately going to come down to Pennsylvania. I really do. I think Pennsylvania is going to decide this election. We'll see how many days it takes to figure out exactly who wins in Pennsylvania. But I think that is the state that will determine who your president is going to be in 2020. I don't buy into this idea that Biden is going to win with a landslide. I think all these polls are tight. I think the amount of voter enthusiasm for Donald Trump is off the charts. I think it's easier to motivate people to go vote for you than it is to motivate people to go vote against you. And I believe that ultimately Trump has a very good chance of winning in 2020. Uh, Just like he did in 2016, I think a lot of these polls are having trouble tracking people because everybody's got cell phones now. I do believe there are a lot of people who are going to vote for Trump that don't want to admit that they're doing so. And by the way, I think there are, I don't think, there are a ton of people in my industry. If you haven't read my column, I'm going to tweet it out in a little bit why I'm voting for Donald Trump. I think there are a lot of people in my industry. I think there are a lot of people in the country that are voting for Donald Trump that would not say so publicly. So I can't wait. I'm going to have a couple of beers. Jason Whitlock is coming over for a sleepover uh, and we're going to sit up and we're going to watch the election results Wednesday morning. We'll be live breaking down everything early in the morning on OutKick. Uh, and I can't wait to see what exactly is going to uh, to be taking place. So all of that still to be determined. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I am a, uh, I, I'm an American democracy enthusiast. I am voting in person myself tomorrow. I didn't go early. I'm just kind of curious what the crowds are going to be like. Kids are out of school. I'm going to take a couple of my kids, let them see what it's like to go vote. I believe it's important to vote. Uh, it's literally the least we can do. Uh, to support democratic institutions whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Uh, I, uh, I'm i not going to judge you if you're a Biden person or if you're a Trump person but I do believe in authenticity and telling you guys exactly what my vote will be. 